Thank you for joining us. This session is part of our ongoing training series designed to support your dealership operations. In this training, we'll walk you through how to order plate inventory. One thing to note is that you will not be able to order inventory until you have reached less than or equal to 50% of your allotment. Now let's get right into it. From the home page, click on the product order navigation menu and then click on product orders. This is the screen that will appear once you click on product orders and where you can view any previous orders submitted. To place a new order, click on new order, which is the darker blue button at the far right. The first step of creating a new order is selecting the proper inventory location next to the blue star. Your location may automatically appear. If it does not, you can type the P number or use the drop down selection option to select the proper inventory location. Once selected, click on search to retrieve the inventory options for that location. As previously mentioned, the inventory options for that location will appear. So, if you are a motor vehicle dealer, you will see the passenger general issue plates as well as other plate types available for your license type. If you are a trailer dealer, you will see trailer general issue plates as well as other plate types available for your license type. On the inventory item that you are needing to order, you can enter the quantity in the box or use the plus sign to add quantity. Underneath that box, you will see the ordering type and in blue, your available ordering amount for those plates. If you exceed the amount, as seen here, your request will need to be reviewed by the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles for approval. If it's within your available amount, your order will automatically get approved. Once the correct quantity displays, you will proceed to the next screen by clicking on Order Details, which will be the darker blue button at the bottom right of the screen. Step two, which is Order Details, will display key summary information for the order, including the shipping location and shipping address. Nothing needs to be entered on this page. You will click on Review at the bottom right to continue. Step three is another opportunity to verify that the inventory location, shipping address, inventory selected, and order quantity is correct before submitting the order. Once all information has been reviewed and verified, you will click on Submit PO to submit the order. A pop-up box will appear, letting you know the order was successfully placed. Click Done on that pop-up screen, and that will take you back to the product order's landing page. Once this order is received, you still need to receive that inventory into the IMS, which we will discuss later on. Let's now quickly discuss viewing order details. Once the order has been placed, you are able to view order details and check the status of the order. Some statuses you will see are ordered, shipped, approved, or denied. These statuses will automatically update in the system when those changes are made to the order. To view additional details for that order, click on the ellipses which are the three vertical dots, under Actions, and then click on Order Details. When the Order Details page appears, you will see a summary of the order, including the preview of the inventory ordered, inventory facility, which is the inventory location, shipping address, contact information, and order date. You can also click on Notes at the bottom left of this screen to view additional notes and information. Within the notes, you will see additional information related to the order, such as automated system notes, with timestamps when the order was created, submitted, approved, ordered, as well as tracking information. You can also add notes, or notes can be added by other system users related to your order. The note type and entered by columns will indicate whether the note was created by the system or a user. Let's now cover receiving inventory. As mentioned earlier, 
after you have placed an order and when the inventory comes in, you still need to receive that order in the IMS. In general, orders will take approximately three to five business days. It's important to verify accuracy of the order once received. Please make note of any issues you encounter with any packaging or delivery issues. To receive inventory from the main inventory management system menu, click on inventory and then click on order receiving. On that page, you will see a play button to a tutorial on how to receive that inventory. This again is very important because you can't use or see your plate inventory in ePlate until you have received it here in IMS. This concludes this training. We covered how to place an order in IMS once you have used at least 50% of your allotted amount. Locate our other training videos on our YouTube or on our website. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next session.